Well, some new concerns over safety for downtown Portland visitors. A daytime shooting turns our attention to gun violence once again. I could tell by the look on his face that he was running for his life. Gun violence hits close to home for a Portland man. We're digging into the issue as the Rose City comes off a dismal year. With the destruction from the devastating quake in Turkey, we ask, how would Portland's residential buildings stack up in the big one? And Oregon lawmakers weigh a ban on certain tobacco products. We found out it'll take far more than the stroke of a pen. Live, you're watching Coin 6 News at 5. Watching out for you. He was just a few steps away when someone on a scooter opened fire at a man in downtown Portland. At 5 o'clock, I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. This happened Sunday afternoon at Southwest 2nd and Morrison. Our Jenny Young leads us off tonight. And Jenny, you talked with that victim today about the scary ordeal. Yes, he told me he's thankful that that shooter did not target him. Police telling us they did make an arrest in this case, but they're not releasing the name of that suspect right now. We are only five weeks into a new year, and we've already had 104 reported shootings, 32 people shot and injured, and five killed. I could tell by the look on his face that he was running for his life. Southeast Portlander Greg Podolik ventured downtown for brunch on Sunday. No way he could have expected what would happen moments after his meal. It was like pow, 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 then a, head, then a pause. That's when I made it around the corner, that first um, set of shots that I heard. And as soon as we turned around the corner, um, Instantly, I saw a guy on a scooter chasing another guy holding a four foot metal pole. He says that guy with the pole was vigorously shaking a door, trying to get inside a building. When he couldn't get in the door, um, that's when the guy in the scooter caught up to him and shot him right beside me. He ran for about 10 feet and then fell on the ground screaming. Pictures showing people surrounding the victim. We've blurred out his face, but I can tell you his expression shows pure pain. Greg says he and two other bystanders wrapped a leather belt around the wound. They also used the knife Greg was carrying. I gave it to the guy who was called, who called himself the medic and he cut the um, guy's pants so it, it would have be, be able to access the wound and pre put pressure on it better. He says Portland police and an ambulance were on the scene within minutes. Police tell me they don't have an update on the man's condition. But as for Greg, he says the shock has worn off and he won't be going downtown again anytime soon. It made me feel like, well, I finally I've, I've I finally have become a part of the gun violence in Portland or I've been affected by the gun violence. All right, about eight months ago, COIN reported when Mayor Wheeler made an emergency declaration, a citywide declaration amid the gun violence crisis, saying that money would go towards that. I wanted to know what progress has been made since then, so I reached out to Wheeler's office asking, you know, what has happened in those eight months. They responded, pointed to Old Town, saying they've increased patrols in Old Town and changed some lighting to uh, deter crime in that area. If you want to read the full statement they said, we've put it on coin.com. Reporting live downtown, Jenny Young, Coin6 News. All right, Jenny, thank you.